Hi everybody, it's Pam Squires with Insights by Pam. I'm here in beautiful Huntington Beach at one of the beautiful city parks. Wanted to talk to you uh, about this aspect that we're going through. It's actually almost ending at the end of the year, but it's Uranus in Aries and Pluto in Capricorn. Those two are squared to each other. Not exactly, they're within 10 degrees, but still it's enough to make an effect on what's happening. And before Uranus goes into the next sign, it's probably going to make quite an impact. The reason I say that is because right before a planet goes into another constellation, it oftentimes makes a significant impact. It's the message that it's been trying to say all along, but uh, you know, at the end, right before it gets ready to transition, it makes a huge influence. So this is what it is. Uranus is in Aries. Aries people have been going through a lot of struggle and difficulty and change. The reason for that is, is that Uranus brings about change in our life, whether we like it or not, whether we're ready or not. It brings about change to things that are no longer useful or conducive for our growth. Pluto is the almighty powerful. It is the energy right now that is in Capricorn. Capricorn is the foundation. Capricorn represents Earth. Aries represents fire. When those two square each other, Capricorn and Aries, there is a struggle that goes on between those two energies. And what we will see on a global scale is we will probably see Pluto and Capricorn being that it's Earth and Aries uh, Uranus and Aries being that it's fire, we'll probably see more of these fires that have been taking place, these enormous fires that are just coming from absolutely nowhere and engulfing everything. But it also may bring up some volcanic eruption. Pluto is in Capricorn representing the Earth at the very deepest level. Aries is fire. It embodies the magma, the molten lava. And personally, in our own life, what it, we want to do is we want to just be aware. We want this aspect to bring us an awareness that we may not have had before. The awareness is down deep in our soul. It strips us. Pluto, especially you Capricorns out there, probably has been stripping your soul to the bare roots in the last five or six years that it's been there. It says let go of everything that's no longer important or can no longer be valuable. Money is not the only thing that there is and there's a lot more going on than what meets the physical eye. Aries is the foundation for new beginnings. In Uranus, Uranus and Aries says new beginnings start new even if it means that you have to start all over again it's okay you can start new you can start with the idea that it's a rebirth instead of feeling punished by it you might just want to feel that this is a time of going through a birthing phase and that the rebirth of all of this is going to benefit you in the long run so don't be afraid of the changes. Don't be afraid of the energies. If you've been Capricorns, if you've been feeling held back, it's this Pluto aspect. Pluto in Capricorn has been holding you back, holding you down, making sure that the almighty powerful spirit of Pluto is bringing you back to your core, to your soul, to your destiny. Uranus in Aries means go with the flow, Aries, go with the flow of change and don't let the change frighten you because change is good. It's one of the universal laws of cause and effect. It is absolute. It's something that we all have to experience. And even if you're not ready to experience it, you might be surprised by what is on the other side of this change. It's really for your benefit, even though it may not feel like it. 
it brings about a lot of struggle at the beginning, but at the end, you're gonna feel much better. You're gonna be rewarded. You will feel like you have been through a rebirth and it will be well deserved because you have been struggling as well for a very long time. So the message between Uranus and Pluto squaring each other is stay aligned, stay tuned, stay tuned with yourself, stay tuned in with the earth, help the earth as much as you can, when you can make a difference. You are all connected to the same life force. Each and every one of us is connected to each other. And each and every thought that we have is a powerful influence that radiates out to the cosmic and then generates itself back to us. So we want to be very careful of what we think. I constantly am guilty of it and have to constantly follow this rule that you cannot stay in a negative situation for too long of a period of time. Try to get yourself out of it in any way that you can because that negativity will breed more negative experiences. We know that to be true. It's one of the universal laws of cause and effect. And um, I hope this helps you if you've been having a difficult time. There's a lot of us out there who've been having a very difficult time. This has not been an easy year for us, but it's going to be getting better. 2018 is bringing change, welcome change, and it's gonna be a rejuvenation and a rebirth of our spirit. So with that being said, thank you everybody for tuning in today. I really appreciate it. If you're inclined to do so, support me on patreon.com slash Pamela Squires. I'm also on Instagram and Facebook, Insights by Pamela. Have a great day.